Hello and namaste. My name is Brandon Fultz, and I teach statistics and other mathy things here on YouTube. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and ring that bell for more. In this problem walkthrough video, we will continue our review of linear equations to prepare you for linear regression. Now I know your time is very valuable, so let's go ahead and get started. Due to erosion, a river shoreline is losing several thousand pounds of soil each year. A linear equation that expresses the total amount of soil lost per year is y equals 12,000 x. Let's rewrite that. 12,000 x. Now, before we go into the three questions here, you might be asking yourself, well, this looks different. Something looks like it's completely missing. And we know our slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Well, if you look over here, I see the y equals mx part, but where is the b? Well, it's there. It's just zero. So in this case, this is actually 12,000 x plus zero. But of course, we don't write the zero. It's there, but we don't write it. So don't get confused. When you see an equation that looks like this, and it looks like the B is missing, the y-intercept is missing, it's not. It's there, it's just zero. So what we know is that in this case, B is zero, so the y-intercept is the point zero, zero, which is the origin on our graph. Now, it asks us what are the independent and dependent variables. So in this case, like other problems we have done, we're looking at something over time. It says each year, several thousand pounds of soil each year. So what is the independent variable? What's changing? Well, the independent variable is time in years. For one year, we would lose 12,000 pounds of soil. For two years, we would lose 24,000 pounds of soil, so on and so forth. So our independent variable is time. The dependent variable is pounds of soil lost. The amount of soil lost is dependent on time. And of course they estimate that it's 12,000 pounds per year. Then we are asked, how many pounds of soil does the shoreline use in a year? Well, in one year, it's gonna be 12,000 pounds because y is just 12,000 times one. So y equals 12,000 times one year. So y will just be 12,000 pounds of soil. And then finally it asks, what is the y-intercept and interpret its meaning? Well, we know the y-intercept here is zero, zero. And it starts there is because we're starting at time zero right now. In these types of problems where the intercept is zero, we're starting at the current time, starting from zero, and then going forward. And finally, because we are saying this is a linear equation, wherever we start in time, so from now to next year will be 12,000 pounds lost. If we jump forward in time to next year and then say a year from then, what will we lose? Well, it's still 12,000 pounds, but of course, over the course of two years, it's 24,000 pounds. So the y-intercept of zero just means now. Okay, so that wraps up this video. Before you go, please check out some of the other content I have here on my channel. That being said, I appreciate you spending some of your valuable time with me. I wish you all the best in your work and in your studies, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.